back to join us. Cameron Bailey here with more on TIFF's salute to our country's cinematic stars. Good morning, Cam. Good morning, Dina. So let's explain a little bit about what this festival is. It kicks off on, is it Friday or Saturday? Friday, uh, January 8th. This is a celebration of Canadian movies and Canadian talent, really. So, you know, we've been doing this for about uh, 15 years, and we found that Canadians have this real sense of pride when we're doing great stuff on screen. So in the same yeah. way that you know, when you hear Drake name check Toronto in a song and you see that Adele's video has been directed by a Canadian, Xavier Delon, when you see a Canadian movie, it's that same kind of feeling. This is our stuff. These are our people. Our stories, yeah, our, our stories. landscape. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. love letters to Toronto. So it's essentially, yeah. or to Canada. So it's sort of a mini Canadian tip that you guys have all curated. That's right. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the fact that it kicks off on the 8th through the 17th, mm -hmm. and that is one of the films hurt. I was just telling you, after seeing the trailer, I don't recall this man's story, but he did incredible things. This is the amazing thing. Everybody knows Terry Fox, right? Terry Fox r tried to run across the country. Tragically, he wasn't able to make it all the way. Steve Fonio did run all the way across Canada. Similar kind of situation, uh, suffering from cancer, had lost a leg to cancer. Um, and then he crashed and burned for about 20 years. And it's a horrific story of this man who was at the top of the world, was a Canadian hero, and then just fell into Hard mental times, illness and drugs. drugs and all kinds of things, abusive, being abusive in relationships. Um, but the film captures the heart of this man, and Alan Zweig, the, the filmmaker, I think has done a terrific job in really getting us close to Steve My Fonio. gosh, it was so difficult to watch the trailer. I thought it was mm -hmm. an actor playing him, and then I realized, no, this is That's real. all being yes, captured yeah. on camera, this erratic yeah. behavior, mm -hmm. compelling and so tragic. Let's talk also about the film The Forbidden Room. Yeah, so this is Guy Madden and Evan Johnson. Guy Madden, art house filmmakers now. He is, um, he's a unique Canadian creation, almost a, a Winnipeg creation. Um, and he's in love with old movies. He's in love with the, the, the weird and the wonderful things that, that people dreamed of doing in the old movies. And he tries to recreate that with Evan Johnson in Forbidden Room. It's a strange trip of a film. Totally. Um, but it has played uh, just about all the major festivals. It's one of the most acclaimed films of the year. And again, it's Canadian. Open mind and know what you're in for for that one. And all of these yeah. films will run twice, so they'll have to check the schedule. Also, right. Guantanamo's Child, Omar Khadr. This has been such a compelling yeah. story. We've all been following in the news. I mean, I feel like we, for the last several years, have watched Omar Khadr grow up. Of course, he was in Guantanamo Bay um, in detention for many years, uh, captured when he was a teenager, child soldier, essentially. Um, and this is his story of how, you know, he went through horrific things, uh, finally was able to come back to Canada, um, and is shaped by that experience of having been imprisoned uh, under really horrific conditions for a long time. It's a story of uh, a guy who grew up, and he, amazingly, he doesn't seem to have bitterness now. Mm. He seems to actually be a, a very kind of Peace. generous, peaceful person, mm. which is amazing. I can't imagine going through what he did. That's just a sample. And then, of course, you have two intimate in an interactive type um, sessions, one yes. with Tatiana Maslani, and that's mm -hmm. happening on, is it Friday or Saturday? Uh, that is on uh, the uh, uh, Sunday. Okay, yeah. and then and the following week, you've we got have Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland. Sutherland. Uh, these are both great because, again, we're celebrating Canadian talent with Canada's top 10. Tatiana Maslany was one of our TIFF rising stars many years ago. Now, of course, everyone knows her because of Orphan Black. Uh, she's terrific. She's doing a lot of independent films here in Canada as well. Kiefer, Kiefer starring with his dad, Donald. That's right. Um, and he started out as a film actor in Canadian movies with the Bay Boy 30 years ago. He's, of course, become a huge star of 24. We'll be sitting down to talk to him about his whole career. Catch up on these films and celebrate all things Canadian. It's Canada's top 10 film festival running from January 8th through the 17th. Check it out at TIFF, Bell, Lightbox, breakfasttelevision.ca for more information. It really is so important that you shine a light on all things Canada. And then, of course, it travels, which is great. That's right, all across the country. And on Saturday, we're showing um, Patricia Roseman's film, Into the Forest, in Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal at the same time. Huge buzz there, too. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Cameron. Thank